I just filmed a whole bunch of shit and wasn't recording. <laughs> what's up, what's up, it's your girl Rebby K. So, g'day, hey gal. This has been done to death, we've all seen it, everybody's done it, I know. And I'm really, really, really annoyed because Australia Post messed up my order and I only just received my Fenty Beauty. So I'm going to be doing it late, nobody really gives a shit anymore, but I'm going to be doing it anyway. I got the lightest shade in um, 110. There is another one that is like 100 that's supposed to be lower, but it is a warm tone. I am a cool tone, so we are going to be using the cool tone lighter shade. And I am so pale I look dead, so hopefully it can keep up with me. So um, from what I've seen with other beauty gurus, the formula is really um, like fast drying, so we want to make sure that we do it quickly. So I'm going to do it in lots of one pump rather than just chucking a whole lot of my face because we don't want to end up with patchy faces, do we? Okay, if you're wondering why I look like I'm like scratching myself, I'm trying to open this and it's like literally killing me because, oh there we go, I fixed it. <laughs> if you have long nails, then pretty much forget about it. You've got to just struggle and struggle and struggle, but oh my god, the packaging on this is so nice. This is what the highlight looks like. I know we're thinking, how is this going to shine on my face? But I feel like I can just be extra. But we'll get back into that later. I'm going to put the foundation on now. So we're going to prime our skin. I didn't buy the primer because I'm broke. So I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique Base Col Pure Light Primer. I love this primer because it's kind of like an underglow as well. Oh, look, I'm crying. Wow, one of those like teardrop things, like all the fashion girls do. And we're just gonna rub it in, it smells like your mum's makeup. And there you have it, now you have a radiant shine. Totally irrelevant to the video, let's go to the foundation. So I'm going to do one side, one side, head, etc. So we're going to use our very dirty beauty blender and we are going to pop one pump on there. Done. And let's go, let's just get straight into it. And oh my lord, it is light. It is like lighter than me, which is amazing. And you've got to work fast because we don't want to dry and have to be struggling with patchiness. It is amazingly light. Like, look at the difference in my face. So this is with it and this is without it. As you can see, it is very light and it matches my neck, which is amazing. Usually I'm very orange because all of the lighter shades are, you know, not like this light. It's usually like, you know, like my, I think the closest thing I have is the L'Oreal True Match and it is still not as light. So that's amazing. I know I keep saying amazing, but it is. So deal with it. All right, so let's do the other side of the face, exactly the same. We can already see that it's going darker, like I've used the same amount of, of um, foundation and it is a lot lighter upon application than it is when it sets in, which is good because it's almost too light. And when I say too light, there's no such thing in my world. I love to look as pale as possible, which once again is not, um, you know, typical for the makeup community. A lot of people like to be tan. I do not. All right, so now this is my full face with all of it on. As you can see, this side is lighter because this side is starting to set in, but it feels very matte. It doesn't feel sticky like when it's on, which is nice. I'm still going to put powder over the top because I like to overdo everything. Um, but we'll do a little bit of concealer, we'll set her in, and then we will come back to the highlighter, I reckon. So I will be right back down. Okay, so now that the rest of my face is on, you may notice I already have the gold from the Trophy Wife on my eyelids, and it looks amazing. This eyelash is triggering me, don't even, like, I don't even want to know about it, okay? Cool. So to top off the face, we are going to use the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife on my face. Judging by how gold that is, like that's just packed on dry and it's already like cray gold. So I'm going to try to do it really minimally because I just don't want to go too OTT, really. Do a little swatchy swatchy for you as well. So we're going one, two, and we are just going to 
drag that across. So, oh my goodness me. Amazing. Beautiful. And that's what it looks like after the flitch of my finger. Yes. All right, so let's just dive into it, I reckon. So I'm just going to do like a tiny little bit, just, just one dab. And... See, that's nice. It doesn't have to be crazy over the top. Zooming you guys in so you can see the shine. I've done it super, can you stop? I've done it super like just radiant rather than just like coating my face, which I usually do. And then other than my eyelashes killing me, we can see the shine on the eyes. So my final thoughts. The foundation so far is amazing. It matches my body color so well. And I like literally not got anything close to this. Like I usually my color is usually really orange and I've got to drag it down my neck because ivory is not ivory. This is actually like the lightest foundation I've ever used. So I'm really, really happy that I tried it. I thought originally that it was going to be too light because I put it on it was white and then it oxidized into like the perfect skin color and it doesn't make me look orange and I just love it. It's so sick. Trophy wife is actually so nice and everybody's like oh my god I wouldn't use it as a highlighter because it's so extra but as you can see it's really not that extra and it like yes it is a bit you know much as far as like it's gold but other than that like it's amazing on your eyelids I am dying for the eyelid color oh my god my eyelash is killing me so yes I will definitely use this again obviously I would like to think so for the amount of money I paid for it <laughs> but uh yeah as a eyelid color I will be using this a lot because if you don't know me then hi I'm Rab but I love glitter and this looks so nice I will be doing an update at the end of the day as well to see how it wore throughout the day, how my skin feels, etc. But so far it's great. I can breathe, my skin can breathe, and I just feel cute. Alright, I am back after seven hours and like my face still feels really good and it still looks kind of like I've just put it on, if you know what I mean. My T-zone is kind of a little bit sticky, but like as far as like that being the foundation, I don't think so. Like I think it's probably more the primer because I was also trying out my new primer. I can try it out with Professional as well, but like as you can see, the highlight is still still on and the gold on my shadows, other than transferring up a tiny, tiny bit, still look like dead set, legit still. This is after shopping for like two or three hours and I just mopped the house as well. So like I'm still looking surprisingly like I just did my makeup. And what was I shopping for? A new backdrop! Yay! It's finally happened! Ah! Now I actually feel legit. I almost want to refilm the whole fucking thing. <laughs> So tell me what you think about my new backdrop. Do you like this color? Because the only other color was red and I was like, that kind of contrasts a little bit. Whereas like white is just like, here we are people. Anyway, I just wanted to come back and check in and kind of like explain how it's going on my eyeballs and how it's going on my face. And that I am so, so impressed as we have already like spoken about the color match. It's still there. This is like a full day of wear. And I just feel so good about it. If you like this video, if you like me, if you want to see me do more stuff and review more stuff, then you got to like, comment, subscribe, buzzword, 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 and I'll see y'all bitches later. Sleep down.